फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रुचीज लाइब्रेरी आई एम रुचि आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल इन दिस चैनल आई मेक बुक रिलेटेड वीडियोस इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियोस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द बेल आइकॉन बटन लाइक माय वीडियोस शेयर माय वीडियोस एंड प्लीज लीव कमेंट ऑन माय वीडियोस सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड फॉर द बुक व्हिच आई हैव रीड एंड आई लाइक द बुक द बुक इज गजर गोचर बाय विवेक शानबाग Vivek Shanbagh is a Kannada writer. This book is a 2015 psychological drama novel written in Kannada but translated into English by Srinath Perur. Vivek Shanbagh is a Kannada writer. He has written many stories, many novels. Uh, he has five short story collection, three novels and two plays. His books are translated into English language and many other languages. So if we talk about the story the story of this book starts from a coffee house in a bangalore and in its and in the same coffee house in the bangalore uh, the narrator of this book whose uh, name is unknown in the whole story belongs to a very poor family but later on they became rich so if we talk about the other characters of the story there is narrator's mother whom they call amma then there is narrator's father whom they call appa then narrator's elder sister uh, named malati and then there is narrator's uncle uh, named chikappa and then there is narrator's wife named anita and then there is a waiter also in the coffee house named vincent so uh, as the story starts with a coffee house uh, the narrator belongs to a poor family but they later on transform into a rich people this story uh, smoothly balances between the past and the present of the family as the family shifted from a cramped uninfested aunt infested house to a spacious bungalow they saw many transitions in many ways in the story the narrator father in the past narrator father used to work only the narrator father used to work as a salesman income was less but still they were happy in this story there are small small incidents which show how the family sit together they were tied together they were happy together and they sit they talk they discuss they make budgets what to buy how to buy how much to buy and even they buy a piece of cloth once in a week and if some member uh, spends more money the other member cuts off his or her budget but later on things changed when they became rich they did not care about anything they did not care about the money they spent uh, uh, but still they were unhappy from inside from small small reasons narrator's sister get married so much money was spent on her wedding but unfortunately her marriage was unsuccessful later on uh, narrator get married they were happy but as narrator's wife was an independent woman she did not like the functioning of the family so things getting started mess up or you can say things getting started gaja gocha she started questioning each and every family member so little little arguments getting started so there is a twist in the story in the end of the story but i will not tell you that because it would be a spoiler so this story shows uh, the value of togetherness in a family and how money could change the life but we cannot buy the happiness from money so it's a very sweet simple and short book it's around 115 or 116 pages so i highly recommend you to read this book and it's true said by the writer that it's not us who control the money it's the money who control us so friends please read this book because i highly recommend you to read this book even a beginner can read this book so this is the review about gaja gochar of vivek shan bag if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon button share my videos and please leave comment on my videos and have a good day bye